Good evening and welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me. I'm Brother Bill and this is Evening Prayer for Sunday, May the 29th, which is the sixth Sunday in Easter. The scripture for this service, Psalm 34, Matthew chapter 13, verse 24 to 34, and the Song of Mary, Luke 1, verse 46 to 55. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I will bless the Most High at all times. Alleluia. Psalm 34. I will bless the Most High at all times. God's praise always on my lips. In God my soul shall make its boast, and the humble shall hear and be glad. Glorify God the Most High with me. Together let us praise God's name. I sought the Most High and was heard, and from all my terror set free. Look towards God and be radiant. Let your faces not be abashed. When the poor cry out, God hears them and rescues them from their distress. God's angel is encamped around those who fear God to rescue them. O oh, taste and see that God is good. They are happy who seek refuge in God. Revere the Most High, you saints. They lack nothing who revere God. Young lions suffer want and go hungry, but those who seek God lack no blessings. Come, children, and hear me, that I may teach you the fear of God. Which of you long for life and many days to enjoy your prosperity? Then keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Turn aside from evil and do good. Seek and strive after peace. The eyes of God are toward the just, and God hears their appeal. The face of God rebuffs the wicked to destroy their remembrance from the face of the earth. The righteous call for help, and God hears and rescues them in their distress. God is close to the brokenhearted and saves those whose spirit is crushed. Many are the trials of the upright, but you will come to rescue them, keeping guard over all their bones. Not one of their bones shall be broken. Evil brings death to the wicked. Those who hate the good are doomed. The Most High ransoms the souls of the faithful, and none who trust in God shall be condemned. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I will bless the Most High at all times. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 13, beginning at verse 24. Jesus put before them another parable. The kingdom of heaven may be compared to someone who sowed good seed in his field. But while everybody was asleep, an enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat, and then went away. So when the plants came up and bore grain, then the weeds appeared as well. And the slaves of the householder came and said to him, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? Where then did these weeds come from? And he answered, An enemy has done this. The slave said to him, Then do you want us to go and gather them? But he replied, No, for in gathering the weeds you would uproot the wheat along with them. Let both of them grow together until the harvest. And at harvest time I will tell the reapers, Collect the weeds first and bind them in bundles to be burned. But gather the wheat into my barn. He put before them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that someone took and sowed in his field. It is the smallest of all the seeds, but when it has grown, it is the greatest of shrubs and becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air come and make nests in its branches. He told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed in with three measures of flour until all of it was leavened. And Jesus told the crowd all these things in parables. Without a parable, he told them nothing. Here ends the lesson. 
Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Show us your mercy, O God. Grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers in righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace in Jerusalem and in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep this nation in your care. Guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth and your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. Sustain us by your Holy Spirit and for all of your intentions. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Alleluia! My soul proclaims your greatness. Alleluia! The Song of Mary. My soul proclaims your greatness. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For you have looked with favor on your lowly servant, and from this day all generations will call me blessed. You have done great things for me. Holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you in every generation. You've shown the strength of your arm. You've scattered the proud in their conceit. You've cast down the mighty from their thrones and lifted the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things, and the rich you have sent away empty. You've come to the help of your servant Israel, for you have remembered your promise of mercy, the promise you made to our ancestors, to Abraham and Sarah, and their children forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, my soul proclaims your greatness. Alleluia. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.